Yep. We're live. Yes. Oh, hi! Hi, everybody. It's Melina Bildu and Maureen Peltier. That's, That's our little boots. Boots. Little, little boots. Um, so, uh, today was not, um, no. I don't like the judge anymore. Favorable. I told you I would reserve my judgments about the judge. Judge Jones, right? Judge Jones. I and gave Maureen a dirty look when she walked in, and it wasn't because yeah. she was late. Oh, I was a little bit late today. Thanks for throwing me under the bus. I was a little bit late, did, but I got here. Anyway, um, so, oh, okay. So anyways, I made it in there, and yeah, I got a dirty look on her face, but it wasn't because I was late. Um, within 30 seconds of me sitting there, the judge violated the Constitution on the Fourth Amendment rights. He'd already done the Second Amendment. He'd already done the Second Amendment. He had already, he denied every single one of uh, Skyler's motions. Every one, and there were a lot today. There were a lot. How many motions, he How many motions altogether? Nine. Nine, Nine motions, motions altogether. When and the judge, and he did very well, by the way, from what I saw, and mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't miss too much. Um, from what I saw, though, he did an extremely well, do, jo, good job, not just articulating himself, but citing not just constitutional law, but law and uh, court precedents. He established prior court precedents. What was the name? Hort was one of the uh, cases that were brought up in yeah several circumstances. And there were a lot of different <laughs> cases that he cited. He cited exactly where to find it and the years, and he did... He was on point. He was on, on point. point. Um, very calm. Um, anyways, besides those details, um, okay, so the court had denied every motion favoring the prosecution, the government, which I thought their arguments were crappy. Crap. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. no, no, they no burden. The they burden of proof is on them. They also, didn't even give an argument. they just gave case law that yeah, had nothing to do they with They gave the case law that had nothing to do with any of the motions filed. And they didn't really argue. That's and they really called it. Skyler's um, bringing up the Second Amendment. They called it his beliefs. No, yeah. those aren't beliefs. Those are law. law. His, 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 so those are law. once again, the U.S. District Court here in Seattle, as well as other U.S. District Courts throughout the nation, systemically, have not only violated the Constitution, but they are throwing it out not of their belief. courtrooms. Not law. a belief. Fact. Law. 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 Black and white. Right supreme here. law. That is your supreme law. Um, but we, we wanted to go over um, these court details. There isn't really much more to discuss right now except to say that the hearing is still set for June 5th. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. They're and expecting three days. They're expecting it to be two to three days, okay? Mm -hmm. So they have to also do uh, jury deliberation some time. That'll be at least one day, though. Jury that's deliberation on, be on, uh, on, on the 5th? No, jury selection is selection, on I Friday. Mean. No, before no, jury selection is Monday morning. Monday, Monday morning. morning. Monday morning. Okay. On what day is that? June. June fifth. June fifth. Monday morning. Yeah, it's the day. Doug, up. honey, go it's to live stream. Oh, he's texting. Oh, you can't. He's texting. He's not going to hear you. You're so silly. She's so cute. So I'm just receiving text messages. I feel messages. stupid. Um, she's just adorable. We love her. Oh, I love you. I love you too. All right. So but, anywho, it's listen. Been a long day. Listen, guys. Um, a smaller number of us were here today, and, and I know people are busy, but right. this trial means a lot to all of our rights. This is our Second Amendment on trial here. We don't specifically. have that. We don't have anything to protect the rest of our amendments. We already know they're chipping. Yeah, they're chipping away at it with these unconstitutional laws. You're, okay, with these unconstitutional <laughs> laws, they're chipping away at it. Um, look, if you want to fight for your rights. You need to be aware, I mean, because we're all possibly going to face court dates like this since um, they're violating the Constitution throughout the nation in every form that you can think of. You need to be very aware, making yourself very aware, how these courts actually operate in court. There's so many people that tell me what I should or shouldn't do to help the mm -hmm. defendants. I get that too. Yes, yeah, she gets that too. Every court observer gets that. Really, honestly, if you have some great ideas and and some good legal not you should come down here and observe so that you can also understand how a lot of those great ideas are just simply violated and denied which makes for a great court in uh, appeals court okay for the appellate court it makes for a great case in the appeals and it really does um but that's not where we we that's not due process that we should have every any 
innocent person who decides to go to trial still be convicted because it's manipulated, coerced, and, and they intimidate, the government cheats, the government lies and deceives. We shouldn't have to face appellate court, which is, by the way, a long process and not a trial. It's not even a trial. When you have to go to appeals courts, they're just going to be looking for the technical errors that the judge or the court made, which there's plenty of in every single one of these cases. And the more witnesses they have, have, the more witnesses that are in that room, <laughs> the less errors and the less bullshit, sorry, they're going to try to pull, actually. Eh, in some cases. Some cases. I don't really some, know. But yeah. we need to be observing this so we understand that our rights as people, we the people, are being grossly violated, yeah. not a little bit violated, grossly and significantly violated by these places that call themselves a court of law. If they were the court of law, then why is this not allowed in? Why are they this lawless? is what it's supposed why to be. Why are they based lawless? On? This is what they are this is absolutely to be based on. lawless. I remember the first time we all came down here to stand for Sky. John Ritzheimer sat there mm -hmm. in his BDUs holding this. He just held this up the whole time. Didn't say a word. Sorry, pulling your hair. Your baby hair. <laughs> he didn't say a word. He just held this the whole time, reminding the judge. Okay, Michael. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what you're supposed to be upholding. And you know what, guys? The P3, Hi, Nikki. every Hi, single one of them were here for Sky. And they'd be here right now, but they can't. John can't be here because of restrictions. Jason so we, can't be here because he's in jail. We should be here for them. We are their voice. You guys. Not just me and Melina and a couple of others that are here. And Jamie. Look, we are their voice. Come on in, Everybody Jamie. Everybody needs you down here. So where are our Washington Patriots? Where are our where, Oregon Patriots? Our, our local... Montana or, Patriots. Yeah, come on. Oregon Patriots. Idaho Patriots. Our surrounding states. Our region. June 5th. Make plans. June Take 5th. Take time off of work. Get down here. And Make show your plans. support. This hearing Three was days. a big hearing. This was a big this hearing. This was huge. Tons of motions. We were in there for two and a half hours, guys. Two and a half hours. It was very important. I left important. work early. You can do it. Okay. So Please. It's important. Listen, and, and I want to expound on the fact that a lot of the P3, this, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not this time of last year. What, what month was I in? Uh, December 2015. And November of 2015. And November. Joe O'Shaughnessy. Jason Patrick, Blaine Cooper, Arizona, Georgia, John Ritzheimer, um, uh, LeCue, Corey LeCue, LeCue mm -hmm. so, and, and many other faces. Across the country came. From across the country came for Skyler. And you can't take a few days off of work to drive we, 100 miles. It's going to be a two to three day trial. In Canada, I think you're two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. They and, and some time off. Yep, we've got people that have been here from Spokane, Washington, that have been here two weeks already, and and that is because they're helping on his case uh, paralegal wise. And I don't care if you're gonna say there might be somebody there I don't like. So what? It's about Skyler. It's about our constitution. Thank it's not you. about who you don't like. Yeah, it does. It, this is not about. I don't care if you don't like them. This is not about a popularity Swallow contest. It. This is not to make friends. You're here. We need your support. Skyler needs your support to see your face, to see your body, your person, your smiling face at him, okay? And um, to do court of observations. And and then, you know, not only, so, so Melina and I aren't the only ones that are witnessing this. A lot of times I've noticed um, some people value other people's opinions, not just mine or my voice. They, they value the other voices. When I started going and more people started coming in Portland, um, to observe those court cases, I noticed that the other voices that started speaking, they didn't wash me out or make me less relevant. You know what they did? They added to, the, they had their own audience, their own type of significant voice that a certain type of audience listens to. Pete Santilli has his type of audience, right? I'm one of his fans, by the way. And, um, you know, Melina has her audience because she's like the sweetheart of fucking America. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have my audience because like, I'm somewhere in some middle ground. I'm somewhat of an asshole and then sometimes really She's sweet. Hard -ass sweetheart. I'm the hard ass sweetheart, you know, like whatever. So everybody awesome. has like their own way of representing, not, not misrepresenting the truth, but representing the truth. Hi, and we need more of that here, okay, so that you also hear the same facts from different different voice different people. perspectives and people and I know some of the audience here watches many different other um, dress wind um, watches many other different like. 
holding it down. Um, she's so distracting. <laughs> I know the audience here watches many other different voices too. So, you guys, um, hey, we need that. We need that me. network. If you're doing talk shows, if you're doing radio shows, if you're doing blog shows, if you're doing YouTube shows, I need you here. I need more voices here. Yeah. Skyler, Skyler needs you here. Skyler needs you here. Not only that, um, I would like to be marching around this U.S. District Courthouse with you, Jericho arm in arm. I would like the Jericho March. I would like a peaceful revolution-like march um, because we, we're being violated across this nation, okay? All right. It's got to be done. So, come on. Anybody? I'm no, involved we'll, in as many we'll causes as I can. Yeah, I'm talking to people who are, if you're close we'll and able... Up. We okay, need you. If you're close you. and you're able, we need you. Especially, I mean, our state, Washington State, is quite frankly not always very active in activism or advocacy. And, you know, I'd like to get stuck behind a, what, you guys instead of a Prius on my way down here. Please. So, we need Washington, wake up. Wake up. You're, you're our state. You already know our state is leaning towards the Seattle light propaganda bullshit. You want you want to lose your farms, you want to lose your guns. Come on, Washington. Yeah, it's Seattle is not the shredded. only. Seattle voices are not the only voices in this state. They are not the only voices in this state. It's being shredded still, and it's being lost little by little. Still, I see it every day. Michael, I'm your fan too, Mike. So, You're silly. Um, come on, let's let's stand. Let's let us stop being shredded. Let's get everybody out. Hey, Bruce. Out. Good to okay. see you, man. So, I don't want to be. The, I don't want Mo and I to be the only ones here. I know, Mike. So let's let's get this done. Let's get everybody here. Let's make the P3 proud because they'd be here if they could be. And let's let Skyler know that he's not forgotten because he's feeling that way. You know, he turns and he sees the same two, three people there every time. So yeah. swallow your pride. You know, who cares if there's somebody sitting next to you that you don't really particularly care I don't care like for. her all the time. No. no. Sometimes we just, like, go... Choke each other out. You know? If there ever is any violence here, it'll be her and I. <laughs> yeah. Probably. You, you can bet your bottom dollar, U.S. Marshals. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. So, please, come on. Swallow your pride, you know. Look at that person you may not like sitting next to you and say, it's for this. And it's for yeah. Skylar. Okay? Yeah. That's what it's about. It's yeah, not about you. Suck it up, Buttercups. Yeah, keep it simple. So stupid. Let's... I mean, not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple, like everybody. That yeah. I'm just digging a hole. Oh, well. So yeah, kiss. You are. So kiss. anyway, mwah, and we'll okay. talk to you guys later. We'll give you okay. my reminders on the way. So Jerry, I oh, buy a bag of popcorn. Yeah, but... buy a bag of popcorn and get your little popcorny butt over here. Okay, us Tyrannus, Tyrannus, what? whatever tyrannical. Little brats. Tyrannical? Gotta go. Gotta we'll go. Talk to you later. We're tyrannical. Mwah. We love you too, Bruce. Kisses. Okay, bye guys. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Bye, guys.